Hey YouTube, B3 here. You know another DVD Blu-ray haul. Just DVDs this time, really. Uh, sorry about that humming noise in the background. It is frigid cold and I did not want to turn my heater off for this tiny little vlog. But, yeah, it's just a few things. Uh, first up, we got Wendigo, which I thought was actually going to be an entertaining movie. And it had some really suspenseful parts and it was pretty creepy, but kind of a letdown. I mean, when you when you buy a creature feature, you actually expect it to be a friggin' creature feature. But I was a little let down. I didn't like the ending at all. Like, the two conflicting characters didn't... Neither of them really got what they deserved. One of them, it feels like he did. But at the same time, it's like... It should have been worse. The creature didn't even feel like a threat. The Wendigo didn't feel like a threat at all. I, I want to talk more about it. Uh, but, you know... I'll talk more about it at the end of this thing, I guess. And then Boogeyman, which I have not watched yet. I got this movie for free, actually. Uh, so we just ignore that price tag. I got three, and then I got one for free. But... I'm not expecting it to be that great either, but I was really curious about it. And I got it for free, so why the heck not? Then Chernobyl Diaries, which I got for five bucks. I'm pretty sure this is found footage. If it's the movie, I think it is. It's definitely found footage. But you know me, you guys. I, uh, I love me some found footage, so I gotta get all that found footage. Jazz. Very, very cool. And then last but certainly not least, Superman, Batman, Public Enemies, which I have seen a few times. I just decided to finally get my own copy. Very, very cool movie. They're both wanted by the federal government. Lex Luthor's president and all. Very, very good. But yeah, you know, Batman, Superman, Chernobyl Diaries, Boogeyman, and Wendigo. Now I can talk about Wendigo, so if you don't want to know about this movie, go ahead and leave. But you know, the family... They go live in this house, and it's kind of a twist at the end. The guy that's being a dick to them the whole movie used to own that house, and he got, a, like, kind of screwed out of owning it. Like, his parents left it to his sister, and she sold it, and he wasn't happy about that decision. And there was a wreck on the side of the road, and they hit a deer he'd been hunting for 18 hours, and they, like, broke its rack, so he didn't really have a trophy or anything. And... Just all this stuff. And then they were staying in his old childhood home and he like watched the parents have sex through the window and it was real creepy. And to be totally honest, there's one point where they leave the mom at home and I thought he was gonna like rape the mom or something because that's just the thing you would expect from a lower budget movie like this. You know what I mean? Like I detest rape scenes in film. I just, I do. I mean, I can understand how it's in horror. It can be terrifying and really help with the mood of the overall film but I just don't like them. I just don't like rape scenes and I honestly think that there is nothing wrong with that. Um, so, yeah, but the dad gets shot and it's pretty obvious that the Otis guy did it. That's the guy that got screwed in the house deal. who's being a dick to them. And, you know, the cops go to get him for questioning and he like bashes one's head in with a hammer. And another cop car hits him as he's running away from the Wendigo. And the Wendigo, like, ran him off the road and stuff and was kind of tormenting him. And the Wendigo, they imply that the Wendigo carried the dad back to the house after he'd been shot. They implied that. It seemed like the Wendigo was more of a spirit of vengeance, like the Spectre in DC Comics or something, than he was this, like, flesh-eating monster, like... This one guy made him out the scene. There was this, like, Native American guy in the film who would just, like, disappear and appear randomly to this kid. And I think that guy is actually the Wendigo. I was going to watch special features to see if I'm right, but I just, I started one and it was just so boring I couldn't get through it. There wasn't narration or anything. It was just, like, B-roll. It was boring. But, uh... I mean, the movie's pretty suspenseful and stuff as a whole, but if you're expecting a creature feature, just don't bother. You barely see the Wendigo at all. Like, maybe for two full minutes altogether. Three. And he appears, like, as a mist. Maybe as some tree branches one time. As, like, a skeleton thing. 
and as like a man of the deer head. Which didn't look bad. The Wendigo costume didn't look bad, I suppose. I just... But yeah, like in the end they get the dad to the emergency room and the dad dies. So this kid is left without a dad in the end. And... The Otis guy is hit by a cop car that was back up for the other cop and then he gets rushed to the hospital and he actually seems better off than the dad was. And then the Native American guy, who I think is the Wendigo, is like standing in the hospital looking at the kid with this smirk on his face like, Hey, I got your dad's killer for you. Well, my dad's dead and this Otis guy kind of looks like he's going to be just fine. He just looks pretty scraped up. My dad was shot. He was hit by a car that wasn't moving too fast because the roads are covered in ice. And you scratched him up with some branches and stuff. Big deal, Wendigo. Thanks for nothing. But yeah, you know, that's this haul, you guys. Thanks for listening to my rant on Wendigo, if you did. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try to get more videos up soon, you know. I don't really have access to good internet anymore. And, uh, you know, I just got my new laptop. In all, which doesn't have a disk drive, so I can't install my editing software yet. I gotta get an external one first. But thank you all for watching. I normally have a lot more here, and I don't give like a full synopsis of stuff. I just wanted to make this a little meatier since I only had four films, and I kind of wanted to rant about this movie I just watched. But yeah, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.